Hi, it was, hi, I'm Arnav, and I'm in fifth grade. Today, I will be telling you how to program your robot to follow a line until you hit a button on your EV3, and then it will detect an object, back up, and follow the line till the end. And in the middle of that fo last follow the line, you will have to switch the direction that the line will follow. So first of all, I have uh, follow the line right here. It might be a little complicated, so let me explain it to you. This right here is the reflected light intensity that's shown by the color sensor. So basically what it means... So this is the threshold value, which is basically what the reflected light intensity is. So what I have this loop to do right, the switch to do right here, is that if it sees something that's less than 29 reflected light intensity, it will, so, and I have it on a true and false basis too. So if it sees something like that, it will g make mo the motor C go faster than motor B, which will basically turn it left or right, your choice. If you, it depends on where you put the motors. And then down here is the opposite. B will go faster than C, and again, it'll turn left or right, depending on where you put your motor, except it will go opposite than this. And so this will repeat for, this is when, and this will keep on going until you press the middle button, or w number two here, the middle button, in on your EV3. And then you only have to press it once. And then so this basically means the brick buttons and when you press it. And then after that, I made it pivot turn because it's at a planet in our obstacle course and it should turn around the planet, basically like it's covering the whole planet. And then this will repeat two times because there's two planets. And then so this is a loop interrupt, which will basically stop this loop if it does not stop, just for safety issues. What? <laughs> and then this will just basically stop both motors and then this here will make the motor B turn half a rotation at the speed of 20 and then this will make both of them go forward so basically what this is doing this is angling it so it angles itself at the space junk is what we called it and then when it sees the space junk it should back up so this right here it basically says to keep this going until it sees um, something that's 10 centimeters away from the ultra, 10 centimeters or less away from the ultrasonic sensor, and it's in centimeters. And then now what it will do, it will go backwards at a power of 30 for 1.5 rotations, and then it will go. S the motor C will turn 1.5 rotations and then here both motors will go forward for um, three-fourths of a rotation and then again I have the light sensor here and still again it's for it's basically the same concept as last time same numbers here and then over here it's the same brick button thing but after I'm not repeating it two times and there is no pivot turn but when you press the button, it has to switch to a different version. As you can see, this is C and B on the top for true. But over here, it's B and C. I had to switch it because the black line that I'm following turns in a different direction. And then if you, it, you keep it the same, it'll just veer off course. And then this goes on till you press the touch sensor, which is in port one. And again, it's the same concept over here for the light, except the only difference is I switched the true and false boxes around. At the end, when you hit the touch sensor, it'll pivot turn, and then it'll show a display of Frank Rocks, which is our robot's name. And so this is how you program uh, your robot to do the obstacle course that we created. Bye.